Hello, my name is Uluwa Gwemi Sola Olanio, Gwemi for short. This is me fulfilling my promise. Um, this is going to be a very short demo. Feel free to ask your questions if you're unclear. So I have a startup called Alot Simmons Limited and I've used that to create a case study. So the background is um, there's a person A, there's a person B and there's a person C. So person C manages A and B and um, A handles all solid work. Um, RFQs and person B handles all Python RFQs. Now, person C manages A and B, and then there has been a problem where um, there are too many requests, and person C is unable to manually assign tasks to A and B. So now, person C needs something automated, wants something very fast, so she doesn't have to be the one assigning the tasks manually. So the problem is. Um, Person C is unable to handle so many requests and um, needs something automated to be able to assign tasks sometimes. So it's peculiar to team leads, managers, and Power Automate actually solves this problem for us. So once you have a Microsoft Office 365 subscription, you are good to go. So the steps is to um, create an RF, uh, to receive an RFQ from Outlook. There are other ways of receiving RFQs. But for this course, we're using Outlook alone. Then a task is created in Planner, and um, the task is assigned to the person in charge. So for SolidWorks, all RFQs go to, to person A. For Python, all RFQs goes to person B. So um, of course, there. This is just like um, the very basic that Power Automate can do. Is the very basic that Planner can do, or that this solution can do. But for the sake of this um, demo. This is what we're going to be working with. So we are going straight to Planner. So the first thing we are going to do is to create a new plan. So you can see me um, naming it. It could be anything you want. So I'm using um, Allotimis RFQ. So that's going to be handling all um, RFQs um, from Allotimis. So under the plan, I'm going to create two buckets. So I'm going to rename that to SolidWorks RFQ and then um, create a new bucket called um, Python RFQ. So the, the um, default was it to do, I changed it to SolidWorks RFQs and then created a new one called Python RFQs. So once I've created both buckets, I can now jump over to um, Power Automate and um, create what is going to happen at the back end. Okay, so this is Power Automate and you can see there are a whole lot of tools but I'm going to jump straight into uh, what we are going to um, be using for this demo. So you can you can see that too many templates, and I'm jumping straight into what is going to happen when an email is flagged. So when person C receives an email, um, is automatic. She person C flags it, and once it is a SolidWorks enabled, once the subject contains SolidWorks, we are assigning a task. You can see I concatenated the title, and so. And then I'm choosing the SolidWorks RFQ as the bucket. So once um, a task is, once an email is sent to person C and person C flags it, it immediately goes to me. That is um, the email address. And then I'm changing the due date to two days after the um, request is received. And then I'm just adding a couple of checklists to the. Um, to the task. So once I run this, I'm just going to I'm going to get everything, the full package. I'm going to get every details of the email. I'm going to get my um, the due dates. I'm going to get the checklist, so I don't have to manually type them out myself. Imagine I'm having like hundreds of RFQs, and it's the same process. So I don't have to keep going back to um, maybe probably copying and pasting. Once it's automated, all I just need to do is to run it. And once the, the um, email is flagged, I automatically get um, I, automatic, I automatically get assigned a task or I automatically assign a task to um, to my team member. So I'm saving it and then I'm test running it. So this is um, a manual test run and okay, I've created the whole workflow. So I'll go to the email and I'll flag it. So this is me flagging a sample email. You can see it contains um, the subject SolidWorks. So I went back and I um, refreshed. I refreshed the planner page, and then you will see the RFQ has been created.
oh, sorry, the plan, the task has been created, and you can see the start date and the due date. So that's two days after the start date, and then you can see the checklist. So I can, of course, once I finish doing a task, I can just check it that I'm done, and uh, you can see the body of the of the uh, plan, the notes is the body of the email. So that's just about it. Of course, you can do tons of other things. Um, so I'm just deleting one. So another thing you can do is once if you have a ton of um, plans, you can export it to Excel. And okay, so you can then you can see you can get a full list of your tasks. You can get a full list of your um, every of all your tasks, and you can see the um, progress of each of them. You can see the view disk, can see the description, you can see everything. So that's just a very 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 short demo of um, how Power Automate works. So of course there are loads of other features that I enjoy you to play around with. You can schedule reminders, you can add conditions, you can add delays, you can use the AI builder, you can extract information from forms and documents, you can create Teams notification, you can do a whole lot with Power Automate. So you can just play around and see what um, you can use to uh, automate your workflow and make life easier for you. So if you have any questions, you can watch YouTube videos or you can message me on LinkedIn and I will try to respond. So thank you for watching my demo. See you soon.